This is a seven English podcast, and you're listening to my house of horrors. Chapter 871 Follow The boy with the smell stood before the armoire and stared at it dumbly. Chen Gu was curious. He slowly approached the armoire, but when he saw the thing inside it, shock appeared on his face. There was a short, fat, ugly boy curled up in the corner. The boy was covered in plastic wrap, and there was a clear wound around his heart and a faded mark around the neck. Is this the boy from back then? The boy's fists were clenched tight, and they did not release after death. His left hand was holding a picture, and the right hand was holding a piece of someone's shirt. The shirt was an adult's shirt. The appearance of the boy meant that the diary that could be found in Chen Ji's haunted house was false. The truth is not what I expected. What really happened here? The boy stood quietly before the armoire. He looked at the boy inside the armoire, and a bitter smile appeared on his round face. He pulled back the plastic wrap on the child's arm and took the picture in the child's palm. It was the picture of a father and his son. In the picture, everyone smiled brightly. Who would have thought that things would end up like this? A roar erupted from his throat. The boy's hands hardened, and he tore the picture that he had held until death into small pieces. As the picture was torn, Wounds started to surface on the body of the boy in the armoire that were caused by domestic violence. Blood leaked under the plastic wrap. The adult in the picture was crying, but the boy was clapping and laughing. When the picture was completely torn, the boy in the armoire had turned fully red, and the layers of plastic wrap over him started to crack. Woo! The boy with the smell sounded like he was calling someone's name. It sounded like a goodbye and a summon. He scattered the torn picture on the ground. With red in his eyes, he turned to look at Chin Gu before whispering something. Chin Gu could not hear him clearly. As he was about to ask the boy to repeat himself, the boy with the smell stepped into the armoire. The smell lightened, blood fog flowed into the room, and blood vessels grew and spread through the room with the armoire as the center. This room had originally looked like real life, but in just few minutes, blood vessels crawled all over the wall. This was how a place should look like behind the door. All the smell has gathered inside the armoire? The boy squeezed his large body inside the armoire. Accompanying him was the roomful of stench. When the stench disappeared fully, a strange sound came from the armoire. Chin Gu turned toward it, and a small fatty in red looked back at him. Are you the boy with the smell? Chin Gu narrowed his eyes to study the boy. What's your name? Chin Gu did not know what had happened to him. The boy had probably put down his past and found his heart. Everything began anew, and Chin Gu felt like he could not refer to the boy as the one with the smell anymore. He should have his own name. The fatty in the armoire did not speak. He was ugly but not inapproachable. Don't you remember me? I am our haunted house's boss, Chin Gu. The boy still did not speak. He just continued to stare at Chin Gu like he was trying to imprint his face in his mind. The communication failed. Chin Gu reached out to pull the boy out of the armoire, but the boy showed no reaction. All right, one should pick their own road. I will not force you to do anything. I am glad to have known you. If you run into any problems that you can't solve in the future, come and find me in Western Jiujiang's haunted house. Chin Gu had enough power to give a red specter such a promise. He said that and turned to walk out the room. But as he did so, there came another sound from the armoire. Chin Gu turned back to look. The fatty boy jumped out from the armoire. The plastic wrap clung to him as he followed closely behind Chin Gu, like he was afraid of staying in the room alone. No matter what you choose, I will understand. If you are willing to return, the door to the haunted house is always open. But you will have to retake the employee exam. Those who fail cannot interact with the visitors. Chin Gu had actually given up a moment earlier. But to his surprise, the boy who found his heart was still willing to follow him. They walked out of the room. The people outside were still curious about the sudden disappearance of the smell until they saw the red fatty behind Chin Gu. Another red specter? Everyone including the headmaster was shocked. Do you know this boy? Yin Hong nudged by Chiu Lin lightly and showed a cute, innocent face. He does look familiar. Bai Chiu Lin had no idea what was going on. But if it was related to his boss, he did not think that anything could be shocking anymore. The stench turned into a red fatty, 
and he was so much more powerful than before, but he refused to communicate with anyone. It was unclear whether he had lost his ability to speak or was too afraid to speak. Come, we've explored the male dormitory, so we should go to the female dormitory. Shinji's eyes moved away from the boy, thinking about something else. There had once been a door pusher in Western Jiujiang Private Academy, which explained why the school would appear behind the door, and the male dormitory that he was in should be the reflection of the private academy when the door pusher died. The school of the afterlife expanded madly but chose to retain the few important locales. This should be the result of the lingering consciousness of the door pusher. Western Jiujiang Private Academy has a serious management problem. No wonder it was abandoned in the end. Other than the stench, the hanging man, and Zhang Ya, there was a door pusher who was cornered. Many students were bullied here, so for them, this school was already hell. As Chingu looked at the corridor that was slowly dyed red, a thought appeared in his mind. To gain the school's approval, I must change the school itself because this entire school is a nightmare for all the despairing children. Chingu shook his head. He decided to take it slow. The scenario related to the stench has been preserved, so the scenario related to Zhang Ya might be preserved behind the door as well. As the boy entered his corresponding scenario behind the door, his power grew tremendously. If I return to Zhang Ya's scenario, will that help her? Chin Gun knew very well that Zhang Ya was caught in a crucial moment, and he needed to try his best to help her. My House of Horrors Chapter 872 I was the first to step forward. Blood fog rushed into the male dormitory. The forbidden zone that was isolated by the school's consciousness was heavily damaged. The forgotten memory was regained, blood vessels climbed all over the old walls, and this place turned into just like everywhere else in the school. The other side is the female dormitory. The place was made forbidden by the school, and no one has been in there. Yin Hong stood one meter away from Chingu. I'd advise you not to go there. The legend about the female dormitory and the headmaster's story are the two big forbidden taboos in the school. Even the school has chosen to forget about them. It's okay. I have confidence. Chinji's voice was scarily calm. You are just an outsider. Do you think that you know the school better than me? You were lucky in the male dormitory, but your luck won't last forever. Your actions in the male dormitory have caused some changes. The school's consciousness is slowly being influenced. If you enter the forbidden zone in the female dormitory, it might trigger the school's consciousness and turn the entire school against you. Yin Hong advised quietly. She was originally the kind who preferred things to be as chaotic as possible, but she was completely different in front of Chingu. This man did not need any probing to head toward the most dangerous and scariest endless abyss. If she did not stop him, she would be dragged down into it as well. You think you understand the school's consciousness, but after so many years, there has not been a new door pusher. This proves that you have misunderstood the school. Chingu said. We don't understand the school. Yin Hong pouted. The school's consciousness is made up of the students' collective consciousness. We are a part of the school, and the school is us. How can we not understand ourselves? Sometimes the person that understand you the most is not yourself. Chin Ji's eyes moved between Yin Hong and Yin Bai. Chin Gu, we have created such a big commotion, which will attract the school's attention. If you continue like this, it will be hard for us to escape unnoticed. The old headmaster was worried. He felt like the lower profile they kept, the better. But obviously, Chin Gu thought differently. Soon, the school will be very busy. Furthermore, everything that we've done is to help it. It will understand soon enough. Chingu said something that surprised everyone and headed down the other direction without turning back. Compared to the male dormitory, he anticipated the female dormitory more. The reason was simple, because it might contain something that Zhang Ya lost. At the corner of the corridor, before Chingu stepped into the female dormitory, footsteps came from the other side of the corridor, and from upstairs, many people seemed to be hurrying their way. The influence caused by the opening of the male dormitory was far bigger than Chingu had expected. The blood fog expanded, and shadows appeared in the fog. Suin. Chingu took a step back to stand next to Suin and the headless woman. So many people want to stop me? Is the female dormitory that important? The bigger the school's reaction, 
the greater the possibility there was something wrong with the female dormitory. Zhang Ye's secret might be hidden there. This extraordinary greater red specter seemed to have a special connection with the school of the afterlife. Standing at the crossroads between two corridors, Chen Ge lifted his head to look. From the left side, the staff were rushing over, and from the right were the senior students who were dressed in deep-colored uniform. From the front, normal students were coming from the normal classrooms. Are you the one who took down the wooden boards to the male dormitory? One of the teachers demanded harshly. Yes. Chen Ge did not deny it. Don't you know the place is forbidden? Students are not allowed to enter it. Not even the teachers are allowed entry. I do. Chin Ji's disregard for the rules completely angered the teacher. You know the rules, yet you. I only went there to claim the thing that my friend lost. You said I have broken the rules, but who made the rule that no one can enter the forbidden zone, and who decided that the place is forbidden? From the beginning, Chin Gu did not think that he had done anything wrong. He planned to turn this whole school from its basis. In comparison, the painter and Chan Wenyi were making small skirmishes, but for now, no one could tell what Chen Gu was planning. Even if someone did, they would not have believed it. You are speculating about the school's consciousness? The second person who spoke Chen Gu recognized. It was Mr. Lei. If it is wrong, why can't I be suspicious about it? The school's consciousness is the collective consciousness of all the students here. But sometimes, the majority is not right. Since none of you dare question it, I will do it. Chin Gu was like a traveler who lit a candle in the dark. He was about to pave a new road for others to follow. Do you know what you're talking about? Mr. Lei and the other teachers slowly approached Chin Gu, and the atmosphere turned heavy. I know what I am talking about, and I know what I'm doing. I just wish to create a path of change for the rest of you before I end up broken. Chin Gu looked at the students who hurried over. Are you really happy here? At this school made from despairing students, do you feel any warmth from the strength of numbers? You are merely pushing yourselves deeper into the abyss. I see some of you have turned from victims into bullies. You have done what you hated the most. You are slowly turning into the person that once disgusted you the most. The scariest thing is, if you dare step forth to say no, that is seen as a resistance against the whole school, and that brave person will be bulldozed until he disappears. You make this sound too serious. Mr. Lei frowned. He felt like Chen Gu was different from the other students and would be hard to educate. As the teachers here, you don't realize the gravity of the situation. That proves how serious the situation is. Being protected by two red specters, Chen Gu was not afraid to speak. He ignored Mr. Lei and turned to the students. No matter what you remember of your lives, every one of you has a gray past. Only those with despair can enter this world behind the door. I do not know the meaning of the door's presence, but the door pusher opened the door because he is looking for salvation behind the door. Chin Gu did not raise his voice, but he made sure everyone could listen to his words. This school was not meant to turn into something like it. It is a home for you, a place to help you walk out from despair. But take a look for yourselves. Does this place look like a sanctuary that calms one's soul? The students did not expect Chin Gu to say something like that. Many of them had missing memories. They were like walking zombies at the school. You can take your time to digest what I said. I know that changing everyone's mind will be difficult, but I will not give up. Chin Gu did not know what fear was. From the beginning, he never did plan to obtain the school's approval but rather change the school's consciousness. My House of Horrors Chapter 873 Entering the Female Dormitory Chen Ji's eyes swept over every student's face before he raised his student ID above his head. I am also a member of this school, but I have limited power alone. I can't change all of you, but I will try my best to gain the approval from even one more person. What he said had never been heard from the staff of the school before. At this school, students were slowly getting numb. They had no idea what they wanted. The school's consciousness was made up from every one of them, but for the consciousness, each one of them was so insignificant. Unable to change, powerless to struggle, they could only assimilate to survive under the school's consciousness. Chin Gu said a lot, but it was impossible to change everyone's mind with a few words. Still, it was not all for naught. Some of the students were thinking, 
some of their expressions changed like they were reminded of something painful. People often warn us against becoming complacent. Warmth comes from hiding in one's shell. No one cares what the shell is because, no matter what, with the protection of the shell, the person inside will not be harmed. But is that true? Chingu pointed at the blood fog that traveled down the corridor. While you've been hiding inside the shell in silence, the poison outside has already leaked into the shell and permeated into your body. When you realized it, it was already too late. It is too late for salvation, and hope has become despair. You can only watch your body being consumed little by little, and the shell that you are unwilling to walk out of will become your tomb. Taking a step forward, Chen Gu walked toward the female dormitory. The long team behind him comprised the people that supported him. Even Mr. Lei did not dare take them too lightly. If they fought head-on, their chance of victory was small. After all, the real owner of this school was the despairing students. There are still many secrets hidden at this school, but I don't have time to explore them anymore. Before the fight between Chang Wenyu and the painter reaches the end, I have to gather more power. Qin Gu did not care about the forbidden zones. He knew that the place was hiding Zhang Ye's past. Perhaps when the door at Western Jiujiang Private Academy was pushed open, Zhang Ye had already been there, and she had stayed in the female dormitory. Turning souls into candy, spirits into dolls, and trapping specters inside chair, that does sound like Zhang Ye, but I believe she had her reasons. Qin Gu led Su Yin and the headless woman and stopped before the students who blocked his way. I do not ask that you support me, but if you think I do make sense, if you don't feel happiness at this school and have been bullied, please do not stop me. These people heard what Chingu said for the first time in their lives. After all, in this school, it was rare for someone to hold on to hope. Yet, this man wanted the despairing souls to feel happiness and find salvation? That was preposterous in their mind. These seniors in dark-colored uniforms had given up such thoughts a long time ago. The longer they stayed at the school, the more they understood that there was no hope there. This was a nightmare filled with despair that they could not escape from. It was unclear who first took a step to the side, but more people followed, moving to open a path. It was unclear whether they believed him or were afraid of the red specters behind Chingu. Perhaps it was both. When the seniors retreated, something that sounded like thunder came from outside the school. The surrounding fog gathered around Chingu and stuck to his body. It seemed to wish to consume him but realized that Chingu was not a specter, so it could not enter his body. Something has changed with the school's consciousness. Is it because I have gained more of the student's approval? Chingu knew full well that the school's consciousness was made up from the students, and changing the student's mind was changing the school's mind. The students did not stop Chingu, and that was outside Mr. Lei's expectation. Seeing that Chingu was about to leave, he yelled. The female dormitory is a forbidden zone. Since you said that you are doing this for the students, trespassing into the forbidden zone is your way of doing that, is it? Trespassing will lead to salvation? Chen Gu ignored him, and that caused Mr. Lei to get angrier. The scariest monsters and the strongest curses are hiding in the forbidden zones. Not only will trespassing into them harm you, it will harm everyone. They trust you that much, but you're leading them to their death. The staff were the school's consciousness executioner. They would stop Chen Gu, which was within Chen Ji's expectations. Chen Gu stopped and turned to look at Mr. Lei. Then, do you dare to make a bet with me? If I can walk out of this forbidden zone safely, do not come and block me anymore and say things like I will harm the others. What if you lose? Mr. Lei had a fiery temper, but he had toned down a lot before Chen Gu. If I lose, it means that I will have died inside the forbidden zone. The bet would be null and void. Chinga made sense. Before Mr. Lei answered, he walked away. Walking past the seniors, Chinga entered the female dormitory and walked to the fourth floor. The road ahead was blocked by a bunch of trash, and a wooden board stood next to it, barring people from entry. Looking through the gap, Chega saw a faded red chair placed in the middle of the corridor. The chair was placed there like there was someone sitting there. Come, let's go take a look. The scene that he saw was similar to the scenario in Western Jiujiang Private Academy. Looks like I've come to the right place. Everyone had their secrets, including Zhang Ye. There were many secrets around her, and the more Chingu interacted with her, the more curious he became. 
Arrestingly beautiful and impossibly strong with a mysterious past, such a girl has found me. Chingu had Su In and Bai Chuling clear away the trash, and they entered the fourth floor of the female dormitory. They only took a few steps when Chingu felt a tug on his shoulder. He turned back to see Su In looking at him. What's wrong? After finding his heart, Su In had become more expressive, and he moved to stand before Chingu. Without saying a word, Chin Gu could understand what he meant. This place made him feel danger, so he volunteered to lead the way. My House of Horrors Chapter 874 What Did the Girls See? Thick blood fog rolled into the corridor following Chin Gu. The red chair in the distance flickered in and out of existence, and they could hear pleading and cries in their ears. How many people have died in this corridor? Just walking down it feels so creepy. The headmaster said softly. Once he opened his mouth, cold air rushed into his throat. I have no idea. Chingu shook his head. He was slowly getting close to Zhang Ye's secret. Just how did an innocent girl turn into a greater red specter? The answer to that should be found here. The pleading in their ears grew. Blood dripped, and small blood vessels surfaced on the walls. This corridor felt like the intestine of a beast. Chingu. Something feels off. The old headmaster guarded Yin Hong and Yin Bai. He wanted to say something more, but Yin Hong got to it first. This place makes me feel uncomfortable. There's a jolt in my heart. We'd better stop here. A red specter's heart was different from that of a normal person. Their heart was their deepest resentment. If there was shaking to their heart, it meant that their existence was threatened, and they were inside a very dangerous situation. Boss, I also feel a numbness coming over me. Bai Chulin's hand that placed in his pocket was shaking. The last time that he had experienced this was when he was with the Shadow in Li Wan City. Don't panic. Of everyone there, only Chin Gu managed to keep his calm. His eyes stared at the chair down the hall. Every time he blinked, the distance between him and the chair seemed to close. This felt so familiar, just like the first time he went to Western Jiujiang Private Academy. Be careful of that chair, Yin Hong warned again. The chair was not that scary, but it seemed to represent something that could elicit the fear in people's heart. The pleading sounds like it comes from the chair. Is the rumor at this school real? The seniors and staff waited at the entrance to the female dormitory, and they saw this. Blood fog drifted, and the red chair was slowly approaching. No one had been inside there before, and all their hearts were jumping. The scariest legend at the school was before them. No one knew what would happen next. Everyone held their breath. Save me. Save me. A girl's voice became clearer. As the chair grew close, the people saw the faded image of a girl sitting on the chair with venom in her eyes. She seems to be looking for a scapegoat. Even red specters did not scare the girl on the chair. Her expression kept twisting as she came at the group. What is it? We can see it but can't sense it. She doesn't look like a specter or a lingering spirit. This is strange. Not only did Chingu feel that, all the red specters around him felt it. The girl on the chair seemed to melt into the corridor. As the girl got closer, the corridor felt as if it was shortening like a mouth that was trying to consume everyone. Be careful! Cries for help mixed in the thick blood. Everyone had a bad feeling. Mr. Lei, are we going to just stand here? A female teacher asked. What if something happens to them? Many students follow him. Then you go in and get them to come out. I won't stop you. Mr. Lake glared at her. Before I joined this school, the forbidden zones were here. These are where the most dangerous secrets at this school are hidden. Do you know why they are secrets? The female teacher did not look that relaxed. She shook her head. They are secrets because once you know what they are, you have to pay something back in return, something like death or becoming part of the secret yourself. Mr. Lei was a clever person, or else he would not have survived for so long at the school. Go and call for help. Get some bricks and be prepared to seal up this place. Sir, something is banging against the school from outside. There are openings everywhere. We don't have enough manpower to order around anymore. There is no other option. Just follow my order. There is no need to disperse the students here. 
No, I want them to see for themselves the death of that Chimge inside the Forbidden Zone. That way, no one will go against the school anymore, and no one will believe him. Mr. Lay retreated to the crowd. There are too many difficult students at this school. It is time for a wake-up call. But is this really the correct thing to do? The female teacher wanted to change his mind. It's too late to anything else. When they saw the chair, the ending was decided. Be it specters or red specters, once they are targeted by the monsters locked in the chair, unless they can escape from this school, the only ending is death. Mr. Lay obviously knew something, but he did not elaborate. However, there was a pain in his eyes like he had once lost someone important to this. This female dormitory is a man-eating monster. No one who has entered it has left. Through the crowd, Mr. Lay looked down the corridor. The red chair was rapidly moving toward Chenggu. Resistance will lead to more change, and there are monsters inside the rooms along the corridor. Once he makes his move, everyone will be eaten until there is nothing left. Mr. Lay's eyes had seen the result. He yelled to the students behind him. Get back! This place will soon. He had not finished when Mr. Lay saw the strange expression on the female teacher beside him. He turned and saw the chair finally appear before Chimge. But then, the girl on the chair suddenly screamed and ran down the corridor faster than the speed she came. That's impossible! Mr. Lay's hand froze in midair. He walked to the female dormitory entrance and moved the trash away to see. The scream of the girl alerted all the monsters in the corridor, but unlike what Mr. Lay expected, the scene where Ching Ji's group was torn into pieces did not happen. Instead, the doors along the corridor slammed shut, and he even heard some being locked. What did the girl on the chair see? Mr. Lei did not get it, nor did the others following Ching Gu. However, Ching Gu himself knew what had happened after several seconds. The girl on the chair probably sensed Zhang Ye's presence. That is the only explanation. Ching Gu turned to look at his shadow. Only the lingering scent on me can scare her away like that. Will Zhang Ye awaken soon? My House of Horrors Chapter 875 Zhang Ye's Present Chin Gu firmly believed that there was something important to Zhang Ye hidden in this school. The boy with the stench was a good example. After he found his heart in the male dormitory, he had drastically changed. If Chin Gu could find the thing Zhang Ye had lost, perhaps she would wake up, and then he would have the support to do the things he really wanted to. Chin Gu, why did the girl leave just like that? The old headmaster was confused. The atmosphere in the corridor was strange, but the suffocating presence had lessened a lot. Because she was afraid, Chin Gu said. He was calm like everything was within his control. Seeing that, the students around him felt that they had made the right choice. I will lead the way. Yin Hong was more curious about Chin Gu. Just now, she had been very close to Chin Gu so she had clearly seen the girl on the chair suddenly retreat after seeing Ching Gu. In other words, the girl was not afraid of Su Yin who guarded Ching Gu but Ching Gu himself. Just stand beside me. From the monster's reaction, they don't seem to be afraid of red specters. Ching Gu volunteered to stay in front. Yin Hong was trying to analyze the meaning behind Ching Ji's words. They are not afraid of red specters, so this man had me stand beside him. Does that mean that he is more powerful than a red specter? Yin Hong looked Chin Gu, who appeared calm, and a beautiful misunderstanding was formed. In my eyes, he is just a normal person. Could I be wrong? Is he not weak, but I simply can't see through him? Chin Gu had been to this place before. He knew where Zhang Ye's room was, so he did not need Yin Hong to lead the way. The chair in the corridor had disappeared and gone into hiding. Chin Gu ignored it and walked to the deepest part of the fourth floor. Is your secret hidden behind this door? Standing at the door, Ching Gu mumbled to himself before pushing the door open. The wooden door cracked into splinters when it was pushed. When Ching Gu pushed it fully open, the old door shattered like it had been under a great deal of pressure, and the light push from Ching Gu was the straw that broke its back. Wooden splinters and blood vessels rained down, and endless malice rushed out from inside the room. This was the first time that Ching Gu had seen the evil in someone's heart so clearly. Negative emotions materialized, and in the world behind the door, they coagulated to form black tentacles. Instantly, the walls around the room were dyed black. Stand behind me! 
When the malice rushed out, Chingu was standing in their way, but the black tendrils purposely avoided him like they had no interest in him. What have you released? The black malice spread down the corridor. When Mr. Lei saw this, he had the students retreat. Do not touch those things. Move back. Get everyone here. Quick. Seal up this place. It was chaos on the fourth floor, but Chen Gu stood at the doorway, unaffected. Zhang Ya once suffered this malice before? Chen Gu seemed to have opened Pandora's box. Commotion came from outside the school like the consciousness had gone insane. You seem to have gotten into real trouble. Yin Hong was shocked by the wave of malice. The girl who was not afraid of anything realized how obedient she had been before meeting Chen Gu. It's fine. This is still fine. Can't you hear what's outside? The school's consciousness. Shush. I told you it's fine. Everything is under control. Chingu put down the backpack and removed all the items that he had on him. What are you doing? I want to go in to take a look. This malice has purposely avoided me, but I fear it might harm my friends inside the bag. Chingu knew that everything in the room was afraid of Zhang Ya in his shadow. He did not know if Zhang Ya could protect the others in his backpack. For safety's sake, he decided to enter the lair alone. Suin, don't stay too far away from me. If there's a problem, yank me out and run. After that, Chin Gu looked inside the room. The malice had dispersed a lot, and using his Yin Yang vision, he could see clearly inside it. Broken chairs were piled inside the room, and each chair was imprinted with a face and a name. Before Chin Gu appeared, they had pleaded for mercy, but after Chin Gu entered the room, all the voices disappeared. The human faces on the chairs turned to look behind Chin Gu, and their faces showed fear. What have you done to them? The room was not big. Other than the chairs, there were pairs of female shoes. There were different styles, but it was missing a pair of red ballet shoes. She is missing a pair of shoes, so she has been searching for them? If Chun Gu looked at this objectively and combined it with the legend, then Zhang Ya was the scariest specter that he had ever met. His body was shaking. Chun Gu had known that Zhang Ya was scary, but in reality, Zhang Ya was scarier than he had thought. The person who accompanied him always had such a past. Anyone else would have panicked, but Chin Gu only took a deep breath and then appeared to say instinctually, In the future, I will face these malicious things on your behalf. Chin Gu did not move the wooden chairs. He called Zhang Ya's name patiently. He wanted to use this familiar room to rouse her, but there was no response. Looks like I have to move in deeper. The thick malice was unable to get close to Chin Gu, but the students nearest to him started to have black spots show on their bodies. It seemed their minds were affected. Leave this place. Only the red specters and half-red specters should stay. When Chin Gu first got the black phone, he did not expect that he would someday say something like that. He looked at the chairs. Chin Gu saw that all the girls' beds had a doll placed on them. The dolls were sewn with black hair, and some of them wore bloody clothes, like they had been half-red specters before they were turned into dolls. Scanning over these dolls, Chin Gu turned to the last bed in the room. It was also the only clean bed. The sheet did not even have a crease, and there was a bag of delicate sweets placed next to the pillow. Each candy was a terrified soul. The different wrappers seemed to signify different flavors. She likes to handmade dolls and prefers sweets. This girl is quite cute if you think about it. Chingu walked to the inner part of the room. He placed a bag of sweets in his hands and was about to turn when he saw a blood-red present box sitting on the bed. The box was crumpled, incongruous with the well-kept bed. My House of Horrors Chapter 876 it's not good to talk behind people's backs. Chin Gu had seen many present boxes in his life, but this was the first time that he had seen one that appeared like it had been soaked in blood. Did Zhang Ya want to give this to someone, or did someone want to give this to her? A dirty box was placed on the clean bed. It was clear that the owner cared about this present. Standing in the scariest forbidden zone at the school, with screaming monsters everywhere, Chin Gu did not feel afraid but had a special feeling. Before this, when Zhang Yi gave me a bloody love letter, a candy made from a soul, and dolls sewn from hair, I felt that they were hard to accept, but seeing this box on Zhang Yi's bed, I feel weirdly envious. 
Malice surrounded him, and Chingu stood inside the room alone. The people outside were highly tense as they kept their gazes on Chingu. They would rush in to save him if there was something wrong, but who would have thought that Chingu was thinking about something else? From their perspective, Chin Ji's usually calm face suddenly turned serious with a frown like something unexpected had happened. Should I open it? But it's not good to go through people's stuff like that. But Zhang Ye is not a stranger, and she is still hibernating, so it should be fine if I help her take a look at it. Chin Gu felt conflicted. His hands just touched the box, and the bow at the top of the box undid itself. I didn't touch anything. Chin Gu turned to the shadow behind him, and then slowly opened the box lid. Nothing changed inside the room. The sound of a heart beating came from the box. Chin Gu leaned closer to look and saw the red ballet dress that sat inside the box. This is the present? There was a card on top of the dress. Chin Gu picked up the dress, and a simple wish was written on it. Merry Christmas, my dear daughter. Me and your mother miss you a lot, so we prepared a new dress for you. The present seemed to come from Zhang Ye's parents. In this room filled with malice and despair, this small box was the most precious thing to Zhang Ye. Seeing the dress inside the box, Chin Gu felt like he was looking at Zhang Ye's beating heart. Under the cold exterior, there was warmth. This is the most important thing to Zhang Ye, but how come I feel so sad looking at it? Chin Gu put the card down. His fingers caressed the dress. The dress was soaked in blood and the stains were uneven, some deep, some light. There was sign of wearing at the edges of the box. The box was placed on the clean bed neatly, so she wasn't the one who did this. In real life, when Zhang Ye saw the box for the first time, it was probably already like this, soaked in blood and ruined. Qin Gu did not know what had happened to Zhang Ye's parents, but since this box was Zhang Ye's deepest secret, it explained many things. There appeared to be something else inside the box under the dress, but Chin Gu did not go through it. He replaced the box and turned to his shadow. Sorry, I'm not good with words, so I don't know what to say. I can't promise you anything, but I can tell you, as long as I am around, you won't be alone, I will be by your side. Carrying the box carefully in his arms, Chin Gu wanted to hand it over to Zhang Ye personally, but he noticed that the bottom of the box was stuck to the bedsheet. Upon closer inspection, he found that the bottom of the box was tied with long hair. The hair appeared to be alive as it fixed the box to the bed. Other than Chingu, anything that came close to the box would be pierced by the hair. I was too careless. I didn't even see this. Thankfully, she has no malice toward me. Chingu was not going to force things. He placed the box back and allowed Zhang Ye to make the decision herself after she woke up. Strangely enough, when he placed the box back on the bed, a sound came from the cupboard next to him like someone was trying to get his attention. Is there something inside the cupboard? This was the scariest forbidden zone, so Chin Gu did not dare lower his guard. He slowly pulled the door open. As the door opened, a doll fell out from inside. This was an ugly doll. Instead of saying it was made from cloth, it was more like it was patched up with hair. What is this? The doll's eyes were glinting. It could not control its body and could only move one finger. What are you trying to tell me? Chin Gu felt like the doll wanted to express something. He did not get too close but dragged the doll by its leg to the door to meet up with Su Yin before squatting down next to it. After leaving Zhang Ye's room, the doll seemed to come to life. The eyes became more brilliant and it used its remaining finger to point about. Boss, you took this from inside the room? Bai Chiu Lin and Su Yin guarded beside Chin Gu. They looked at the doll on the ground strangely. It was the first time that they had seen something like this. I think it's someone who has bullied Zhang Ye before. Once Chingu said that, the finger of the doll moved wildly like it had been wrong. Seeing this reaction, Chingu was curious. He pointed at the ground next to the doll. Use the blood on the ground to write. I can read. The doll hesitated. It did not seem to wish for too many people to know what he wanted to say. Under the doll's insistence, Chin Gu and Su Yin moved to block the other people's view. Now you can write. The doll's finger moved quickly. Chin Gu tried to understand its handwriting. Take me away from here. I know her secret. You wish to talk terms with me? Chin Gu scoffed. 
This doll wanted to use Jean Ye's secret to negotiate with him. He was about to remove one of the doll's arms to make it come to its senses when the doll started to write again. I can sense her presence on you, but I've been watching since you enter the door. She appears to be sleeping. If she knew that I'm still conscious, she would kill me. Everyone that gets too close to her dies. You are no exception. I know you are afraid. Take me away. I know her very well, and I know how to get rid of her. You might not sense it now, but she is using you. After you've lost your value, she will not hesitate to kill you. Those dolls are your future. Do not be tricked by her appearance. She is the scariest specter, a nightmare you can't shake, completely mad. Trust me. I was this school's first headmaster. The woman killed the real door pusher. She is the school's consciousness real enemy. The doll's eyes were glinting. After he wrote everything, he glanced at Chingu. The shocked expression that he expected from Chingu did not appear, but the atmosphere was rather strange. My House of Horrors Chapter 877 John Ye's Secret I'm not lying to you. Everything I wrote is true. The doll's finger was almost broken, but there was no reaction from the people around it. This made him feel mad and awkward. Naturally, Ching Gu knew that the doll was not lying, but the problem was that he was not being used by Zhang Ye. If he really analyzed it, it was Zhang Ye who had saved him many times. Without this specter who stuck to him like a nightmare, he would have died under a chop from an axe during his first trial mission. The doll lay on the ground, his feet being pulled by Ching Gu. It was hard to believe that this was the most mysterious headmaster in the school of the afterlife. Ever since she left, no one has entered this forbidden zone. I know she will return. If she realizes that I still have my consciousness, I will die, so you are my only hope. The doll could not speak. His finger wrote madly as his eyes stared at Chingu. There were complicated emotions in them. No one in the corridor spoke. Chingu did not know what to say as this was his first time encountering such a situation. You will die. The specters trapped in here are your ending. Do not fall for her lies. After a long time, Chingu asked, What has she done to you? Can't you see? I've been changed into this form. Do you need me to fill you in on the details? The doll was shamed, and his eyes were red. The person that you mentioned is different from the person that I know, Zhang Ye. No, do not say that name. Do not mention it. Chingu was only halfway through when the doll started to madly write. All right, from how I see it, the girl. Girl? Wake up, please. Look at these pleading people behind the door. Do you think she deserves to be called a girl? The doll snapped. He had turned into a specter due to a lingering obsession after his death, and now it appeared like Zhangya was that obsession. I can't do this. I can't say that. You are quite interesting. Chin Gu looked into the doll's red eyes, and his tone changed. You must have done something to make her unhappy to deserve an ending like this. The doll's finger suddenly stopped like he was considering Chin Ji's question. I will only help you if you tell me the truth. Chin Gu had a warm smile on his face. After all, I have to take a big risk to help you. Fine. The doll was convinced by Chin Gu. There was sound coming from his throat and stomach. Small blood vessels tore open the patch, and they formed a bloody sentence on his tattered outfit. The school appeared due to the fact that a child pushed open the door. The child was once the student here, and due to a misunderstanding, after he pushed open the door, I accidentally entered it as well. Only when one is at the deepest point of despair can one push open the door. It has to be more than a misunderstanding that the door pusher yank you into the door. Chin Gu saw through the lie immediately. If you're going to lie to me, there is no need to continue this conversation. I am not lying to you. The door pusher studied at Western Jiujiang Private Academy, and I was the headmaster there. The student was bullied and died in the crematorium due to many reasons. I admit that I had problems managing the school, but I was really unrelated to his death. You are the headmaster of Western Jiujiang Private Academy? Not many people knew about the place, so the fact that the doll could say that meant that he really did know something. Yes, I was led behind the door by the door pusher. I know that the child was pitiable, so no matter what he's done to me, 
I do not resent him. If anything, I feel guilty. At the time, we were the only two behind the door. Perhaps my accompaniment touched him because I gradually gained his understanding and forgiveness. Don't place yourself on such a moral high ground. Chin Ge had a feeling that he was lying, but there were some truths in it. As the door grew stronger, more people and specters entered, and she was one of them. The doll finally reached the place where Chin Ge was interested in. The door pushed her and I never harmed her, and she initially appeared to be quite harmless. But later we found out that was just a disguise. After she entered the school, the outsiders and specters from the school started to mysteriously disappear. The door pushed her and I suspected that they had been consumed. The school behind the door became different after that. After some investigation, we realized that the killer was that woman. Chin Gu did not fully trust what the doll said. He was not one to believe others so easily. The door pusher found out that Zhang Ye was the killer, but in the end, the door pusher was killed by Zhang Ye. Don't you find that ironic? The woman has consumed many specters, including red specters. The door pusher was not a match for her. You are lying. Chin Gu held the doll's legs and looked into its eyes. After pushing open the door, the door pusher's power will at least double. As long as he did not leave this scenario, he wouldn't lose to Zhang Ye. Chin Gu had experience with this and knew the difference in power between red specters. When he first met Zhang Ye, she had already consumed a door pusher, a feat that was nigh on impossible. But it was she who killed the door pusher. Perhaps I have missed some details since it has been so long. If you can't remember clearly, don't start spinning tales. You have to pay for your lies. Chin Gu gripped the legs and pulled, but he could not hurt the man. Suin, help me break one of his legs. Suin reached out his pale hand. Before the doll could write anything, he grabbed the doll's body and yanked one leg off. It was just a doll, but blood leaked out from the wounds. The doll's eyes bulged with redness. Suin tossed the broken leg aside and retreated silently. Actually, Chin Gu did not expect Suin to be so ruthless. He only wanted to break the leg, not tear it completely away from the body. Of course, he would not say that to anyone. With a smile on his face, he neared the doll. Now, can you think clearer? If not, I can help you. The doll struggled on the ground, but other than his eyes and fingers, he could not move the rest of his body. So, he crumbled. I am telling you the truth. It was the door pusher who consumed the specters and outsiders that came to the school. There was an accident when he was hunting the woman. They entered a blood-red city. In the end, the door pusher died in that city, but the woman returned. In other words, the reason Zhang Ye could kill the door pusher is because of that red city, meaning her secret is hidden inside the city? Chin Gu looked at the doll who had learned his lesson. Yes, she found something in the city. She knows a path that leads to the center of the city. My House of Horrors Chapter 878 Only Weakness Path that leads to the center of the city? Zhang Ye has been there before? Chin Gu looked at the bloody words on the doll and narrowed his eyes. In his mind, the city was very dangerous, even more dangerous than the Forbidden Zones, so he did not expect Zhang Ye to have already been there. Yes, she knew the path from the beginning. When the door pusher pursued her, she ran out of the school. The doll did not sound like he was lying, but Chin Gu did not feel like fully trusting him yet. The door pusher has complete control over the door that he pushed. He knew about every corner of this place because the whole scenario is built upon the basis of his memory. Chingu pulled on the doll's other leg. Are you lying to me? No. The color of the blood on the doll deepened. He was really afraid of Chingu. Every half-red specter or ghost that have the potential to become a red specter have a special power. Do you know what that woman's special power is? Stop changing the topic. Chingu did not know what Zhang Ye's special power was because she had too many special powers. I don't know the details of her power. But from the door pusher, I found out that she can obtain other specter's powers through some means. The doll's statement confirmed some of Chin Ji's previous suspicions. This is the scariest and most special power I've seen, so even now, no one knows what she can do because she possesses too many powers. Reading the words on the doll's body, Chin Gu did not react instantly. Zhang Ye was the only specter that possessed her own special page in the black phone. 
Initially, Chen Ge had thought that every red specter would have that. But after Su Yin evolved into a red specter, Chen Ge had realized that things were not that simple. Su Yin, who was already quite strong among red specters, only had his name turn red in the black phone, and the introduction added the identity of red specter to his name. Zhang Ye is unique even among red specters, that is confirmed by the black phone. Chen Ge thought back to Zhang Ye's fight with the shadow in Li Wan City. The shadow had listed several of Zhang Ye's powers at once, and coincidentally, he had seen other specters use those powers before. There should be a real limitation to her power, and that should be her only weakness. Chen Ge grumbled to himself before picking up the doll. I don't need you to explain how scary Zhang Ye is, rescuing you is making her my enemy. Why would I anger a powerful greater red specter for someone who I don't really know? The words on the doll had not changed for a long time. Chin Ji's tone changed as he leaned closer to the doll so that his words could only be heard by the two of them. Unless you tell me her weakness so that I have a chance of winning against her. Chin Ji's voice was like a demon's whisper. He was probably the first living person to trick a specter. You have no other choice. Either tell me everything, or I'll hand you over to Zhang Ye myself. The doll's red eyes stared at Chen Ge like he was considering whether to trust him. I have limited time. If you can't agree with me, there's no need for me to take the risk for you. Her weakness is her heart. I overheard something from the door pusher. Every red specter has their own heart. It is made from their obsession. It is the key for them to become a red specter and their weakest spot. The doll did not realize that the way Chen Ge looked at him had slowly changed. To kill that woman is not easy unless you ruin her heart. The door pusher thought that her obsession was the people who once hurt her at the school but that was not the case. When he changed his mind, the woman noticed it and hid her heart. Hid her heart? The heart can be hidden? Chin Gu remembered what the doll said clearly. If he encountered the other world under the black phone's guidance, what the doll had said now could help him understand it further. The red specter's heart is formed from some obsession. If she placed that obsession on some place or someone, if nothing happens to that person, no matter how seriously injured she is, she will not disappear. The blood vessels on the doll wavered. After he left the room, the limitation on him was slowly weakening. Do you have any clues about that after the door pusher has done so much investigation? Chen Ge asked casually. There are two possibilities. First, she hid her heart deep inside the Red City. But the chances of that are not great because the city is very dangerous. Too dangerous for her to predict. The second possibility is that she has placed her heart somewhere outside the door. The place could be a person or an object. The words stopped there. He reserved a secret for himself. If he told Chen Ge everything, there was no guarantee to his safety. Actually, when the doll mentioned an object, something crossed Chen Ji's mind, Zhang Ye's love letter. Zhang Ye had placed her heart in the love letter. In Liwan City, Chen Ge had torn the letter and had Zhang Ye move into his shadow. Being each other's companion forever was not just a phrase of speech. Zhang Ye's new sanctuary was Chen Ji's shadow. Thus, based on what the doll had said, Chen Gu was Zhang Ye's weakness. Take me with you, and I'll tell you everything. The doll's eyes were bloodshot. You have her presence on you, so she will not let you go. She will stick to you forever. Only I can help you. Let me think about it. Chen Gu smiled and looked at the doll's face. He was thinking about how to make a specter disappear completely, without leaving a trace in the world. She might come back at any moment. Please make it quick. Okay, I will give you an answer as soon as I can. Before that, I'd better bring you with me. Now Chen Gu had another thing important to him, the doll. He had given it much consideration and decided to hand the doll to Zhang Ye. The girls should have a better way to deal with him. After all, she had literally made him this way. Before Zhang Ye awakened, he could keep the doll safe. He picked up the backpack, had Su Yin carry the doll, and walked out of the female dormitory. My House of Horrors Chapter 879, Headmaster's Office After dealing with the doll, no one would know Zhang Ye's weakness, and a weakness no one knew about was not a weakness. Walking out from the female dormitory, Chen Gu noticed a lot of changes to the school of the afterlife. The red fog mixed together with the black malice. 
If there was hell on earth, this was probably it. The visibility has lowered again. Whenever I breathe, there is this horrible stench like I am choking on blood. Chin Ge had stayed too long behind the door. His body could not support him any much longer. More blood vessels stuck to his skin. If this continued, he worried that he would be assimilated by the door and stuck behind it forever. I need to hurry. At most, I can stay for one night. Chen Gu waved his arms about trying to shake away the resentment and negative emotions that formed the vessels, but it was not much use. The scary thing was that part of them had crawled under his skin. From afar they looked like small wounds on his arms. Walking in the red fog and black malice, the number of students that followed behind Chen Gu grew. Where is Mr. Lei? Didn't he say I would not walk of there alive? The outside of the school was seriously damaged, so Mr. Lei had to leave. One of the female teachers was shocked to see Chinga alive. Walking out of the forbidden zone alive is nothing to be proud of. In contrast, you have made such a huge scene. You'll only get targeted more by the school's consciousness. Everything you say revolves around the school's consciousness. But how can you know it is always right? Chinga rubbed the blood on his arms. He realized that he could not rub it off, so he left it be. I know I can't argue with you. The school's consciousness might not be right. But the consciousness is the collection of most of the students. Here, they are the real owner. The teacher sound helpless. As a member of staff, even though the students referred to her as a teacher, in reality, she was greatly limited. She was more like a low-level administrator hired by the school's consciousness. The world behind the door belongs to the door pusher. Whoever pushed open the door, the door will listen to them. Chinga said, Unless someone killed the door pusher, in that case, it will listen to them. You're mad. The teacher moved closer to the other teachers. She did not want to stay too close to Chinggu. After I leave, you'd better seal up this place. Even though it does not have what I'm looking for, it is still very dangerous. It won't be good if a student accidentally wanders in. We don't need you to teach us what to do. Chinggu led the others to the center of the school. He had gained more student followers, but the number was not enough. He needed to gain more approval to have them trust in him. I need to gain more students' support before Chan Wenyu and the painter know what I'm doing. Because they both believed he was harmless, the two had been ignoring him. If they found out Chen Ji's real aim was for the old headmaster to take over the school, they would definitely come for him. Chen Ge, where are we going now? Yin Hong's impression of Chen Ge had greatly changed. She now hesitated when she called his full name. The students are mostly gathered at the center of the school. We will go there. Other than that, isn't there a forbidden zone related to the headmaster? I heard the headmaster's office is at the center. We will go there as well. Chin Gu had everything planned. He had limited time. He could not explore all 13 forbidden zones, so he only focused on the key ones. The headmaster's office and the fourth floor of the female dormitory are the most dangerous forbidden zones. You just came out from the female dormitory, so don't you want to rest first? We have no time. Chin Gu and Su Yin walked at the front. He leaned closer to the doll on Su Yin's shoulders to whisper. It's time for you to prove yourself. The doll's red eyes rolled about. He instinctually wanted to lean away from Chin Gu. Actually, he was forced to have Chingu bring him out of the female dormitory. After leaving that place, he had a chance to escape. Didn't you say that you were this school's first headmaster? Tell me the headmaster's office's location. I need something that can prove your identity. If there was enough time, Chingu would visit all the forbidden zones and recreate the 13 zones at his own haunted house. Too much time has gone, and many things have happened. This school has changed too much. It might be difficult for you to get to the headmaster's office now. The blood crawled out from the wound near its chest to form those words. You are not willing to show the way? Chinga grabbed the doll's only leg. Or are you not even the headmaster at all and were lying to me? I will take you there. The doll's eyes bulged. There are two offices. One is the headmaster's office from Western Jiujiang Private Academy. It's on the top floor. There's nothing there, just an empty shell. The other headmaster's office was the door pusher's living space. He liked to hide there to spy on the lives of the other specters and monsters. 
The door pusher once lived there? Yes, this room is hidden, and very few people know about it. Take me there. Chin Gu could barely hold in the anticipation. Under his many urges, the doll led him to the center of the school. This is it. The doll used his remaining movable finger to point at the sign before them. There are many hidden rooms in this school, and every room has its secrets. If you promise to get me out of here, I can tell you the location of all the hidden rooms. Chin Gu stopped before the board. The wall was filled with various reports and self-criticism. It came with many students' pictures. This was not a hall of fame but a hall of shame. All the ugliness of the school was portrayed there. You'll see the room after you pull away all the reports. Okay. Chin Gu signaled for the students behind him to move, but no one dared step forward. He even saw the picture of one of the students before him. The child looked at his own picture and stood frozen. What are you afraid of? You'll be punished if you make a mistake. That is the school's rule. If we tear down these reports, we'll be going against the school's consciousness. Han Song said softly. No wonder no one has ever found this room. Chin Gu heard that and looked out the window. The red eye appeared to be pressing down on them. However, the eye appeared to be under great pressure. It was filled with pulsing blood vessels. Criticism is to improve, not humiliate. Chin Gu pulled down the first report. Make a move on. Stop hesitating. With him and his employees leading the way, more students slowly joined. The layers of the reports had accumulated over many years. They kept pulling for a long time before the bloodied wall showed. The wall under the reports and pictures was like a bruised skill. There were cracks everywhere, and they were leaking blood. The entrance is on the left side. The wall was originally only one meter wide. It absorbed resentment and then continued to grow. Chin Gu kept searching on the wall before locating the door that appeared to have melted into the wall. This is the door pusher's room. Shoving the door open, Chin Gu looked inside. The whole room was filled with mirrors of varying kinds. My House of Horrors Chapter 880 Sudden Change At the school of the afterlife, mirrors had a special meaning. Each mirror represented a person and hid a memory. The scene before him shocked Chin Gu. He had been at the school for so long and had not seen much mirrors. It turned out that all of them had been hidden there. Mirrors represent memories, and memories hide one's secrets. The door pusher has been spying on everyone's past. The door had the same color as the wall. They practically were one and the same. With the reports covering the outer wall, after the death of the door pusher, no one would expect such a room to exist behind the wall of shame. This door pusher had a unique hobby. The despair behind the door twisted him, or he gave up on himself and opened his arms to embrace the abyss. Chin Gu was curious about every door pusher, and the school of the afterlife's door pusher was the only dead door pusher, so he was worth studying. Keep close to me. Chin Gu dragged Su Yin into the hidden room. I'm not lying to you. This is the headmaster's office that you wish to come to. The door pusher is the school's owner, and this room is the most hidden room in the school. The doll argued for his innocence, but Chin Ji's attention was distracted by the things inside the room. He did not notice the doll's change. The room was not big. It had no windows, and the only point of connection to the outside world was the door. This is the most suffocating room I've ever been in. Bai Chulin carried the mirror, but he did not follow Chin Gu. He only took a glance and shook his head. Trapping oneself inside a room filled with mirrors, Looking at one's reflection always, even a specter would rarely decide to do something like that. Don't underestimate these mirrors. Chin Gu picked up the broken mirrors on the ground carefully. He held the piece before his eyes, but the reflection was not his own. The mirror was empty. It looked strange and rather pitiful. The school of the afterlife is different from other scenarios, and one of the reasons is the existence of these mirrors. Regardless, the secret behind them should be found in this room. There was barely anywhere to stand in the room. The mirrors and their pieces overlapped over each other, reflecting one another. It was like the school's consciousness above their head, everyone's memory and consciousness overlapping together. I've led you to the headmaster's office, so that should prove to you my sincerity. The doll pulled on Chin Ji's clothes to have Chin Gu look at him. Hmm. That was Chin Ji's only reply. 
He was attracted by one of the mirrors in the corner of the room. Most of the mirrors in the room were broken, with irregular edges and blood or stain on their surfaces, but the mirror at the edge was perfectly preserved. It gave off a faded red light, and blood streamed down its surface like something was trying to come out. Whose mirror could this be? From the appearance, it looks like a girl's mirror. Could it be Chang Wenyu's? Shin Gu was suddenly reminded of a problem. If there was a mirror that corresponded to every student in the school, was it possible that Zhang Ye's mirror was there as well? Shaking his head, Shin Gu pushed this thought out of his mind. Zhang Ye had already killed the door pusher, so why would she leave her mirror behind? With that in mind, Shin Ji's curiosity grew. Su Yin, go and get that mirror. Shin Gu caught the doll, afraid that this was part of his conspiracy. So, to be careful, he would not have the doll have any contact with anything in the room. Listening to Chin Ji's order, Su Yin walked to the corner, but once he stepped on the mirrors on the ground, all the mirrors started to bleed. Cracks formed, and the mirrors were like mouths that opened up to consume Su Yin. Come back! Chin Gu yelled. Once Su Yin stopped, the mirrors in the room slowly returned to normal. Chin Gu felt a tug on his shirt, he turned back to see a new line had appeared on the doll. Once you touch the mirrors, the school's consciousness will target you. What happened earlier was a warning. I can only look at them but not touch them. Not really. The warning should only work on red specters. If it's just a normal lingering spirit, the reaction won't be so intense. What if it's a living person? Chin Gu returned the doll to Su Yin. The door pusher and the school's consciousness would not have expected a living person to enter this room. When I picked up a broken mirror earlier, it did not react at all. I have no clue. Chingu stopped asking for the doll's opinion. With a careful step, he moved into the room. Like he expected, nothing changed. Suin, guard right there, and don't move. Moving slowly forward, Chingu was stepping on the pile of broken mirrors. Sorry for the offense. Every mirror held a memory, so Chingu apologized in advance to make himself feel better. Lowering his head to look, this place was like a mirror cemetery. Only the mirror in the corner has blood flowing on its surface. Whose mirror could it be? Shin Gu already possessed the painter's mirror, but that information came from a non-smiler, so it could not be trusted fully. Chen Gu could trip easily from the pieces underneath his feet. Being injured was a small thing, Shin Gu did not wish to break the mirrors. He slowly moved his body, and it took him a minute to reach the corner. He squatted down to study the mirror before him. This mirror was different from the others. When he saw the mirror, more blood appeared on the surface like this was not a mirror but a beating heart. There is something inside the mirror. Chin Gu used his yin yang vision and realized that the mirror covered in blood was reflecting the room that he was in. Inside the enclosed place littered with broken mirrors, a man in a red shirt was squatting in the corner looking at a girl's mirror with extreme focus. Wait a minute! This scene is similar to what? Chin Gu prepared to retreat when the man in the corner suddenly turned around. The man looked 80% like Chin Gu, and the scary thing was that his facial features were still changing, becoming more and more like Chin Ji's. A scapegoat? Chin Gu was still moving back when the man in the mirror screamed. He pulled madly at his face, until he dug pieces of flesh out like the face represented extreme tragedy. As the man in the mirror went mad, a loud voice came from outside the corridor. Then Chin Gu heard the old headmaster. Chin Gu! Something is wrong with the school's consciousness. The eye is bleeding. Please subscribe to A7 English Podcasts and enjoy listening every day with us. Thank you.